This, the first Sabbath of the session, had everything Seventh-day Adventists would expect from a well-planned service. First, powerful music that would make the angels rejoice. Then an impassioned call for offering to help spread the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The offering this morning has the potential to send gospel workers and to feed the poor, to establish clinics, to print literature, to initiate evangelism, build churches, establish schools, and yes, to bring hope to the orphans. And while the challenge is great, so is the opportunity. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can be partners with heaven lighting a path of hope in the great unentered areas of the world. Then, of course, more wonderful music. There is much anticipation on this, the first Sabbath of the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Session planners have been working on this Sabbath for years. The service included a warm thank you for past World Church President Jan Paulson and Secretary Matthew Bedianco. Pastor Paulson is a scholar, an academic, a pastor, an educator, and a man of God. It has been an honor and a privilege and a joy to serve the Lord and to serve you as his people during, yeah, what is it, 52 years of ministry and 11 years as president of the World Church. And in his final sermon as World Church Secretary, Matthew Beriaco reminded all of God's great grace at Calvary. So here we have the cross of redemption, the cross of reception, and the cross of rejection. The three men hanging on, the middle man, the one on the middle cross, Jesus' cross, was a dying savior. The man on the left, who did not accept Jesus Christ, was a dying sinner. But the man on the right cross, because he turned to the Savior, died a saint, the meaning sinner, saved by grace. I'm Jeff Williamson for Adventist Newsline.